Hello and welcome back uh, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get 5 very rare achievements in Forza Horizon 4 and show you the easiest ways to go about getting them. Now you don't know I don't like waiting around so let's get stuck into them here. Uh, so let's go through them all first. The first one called Hatch Me If You Can wants you to complete the festival drag strip in a hot hatch in under 25 seconds. Second one called Never Tell Me The Odds wants you to win a race in the PLP 50. Uh, third one called Ground Force wants you to get 3 stars at a danger sign in a vehicle from the truck's car type fourth one here called record breaker wants you to get 258 mile an hour on a speed trap in the bugatti veyron supersport and the final one here called purple split wants you to in rivals beat a rival without receiving a dirty time penalty now the first one here is very very easy it just wants you com to complete the festival drag strip in under 25 seconds in a hot hatch so first of all you're going to want to find yourself a hot hatch not a retro or a super one just a standard hot hatch now there's quite a few to choose from and if you don't have one, which I'm sure a lot of you guys will anyway um, they're very very cheap to pick up I'd recommend going with an all-wheel drive one so as you can see I chose my Audi S1 uh, I've tuned it to have about 360 brakes so it's very very quick uh, obviously you don't need something super quick you just need something that will beat it in under 25 seconds so then you go over to the festival drag strip obviously that one is self-explanatory it's the one at the festival uh, and you then obviously just get into the drag race it's as simple as that all you have to do is come in under 25 seconds so it doesn't matter where you finish obviously first is preferable um, but as long as you're under 25 seconds you'll get the achievement so as you can see here I got it in 11 seconds in an A-class Audi S1 like I said all-wheel drive is probably better for this because most of them are front-wheel drive anyway um, but yeah there's 20 game score very very easy in under five minutes it will not take you long at all um, if anything two minutes maybe very very simple uh, the next one is a little trickier uh, it wants you to win a race in the PLP 50 now I'm sure everyone probably has this reason is it's a barn find so don't sell it keep it just to get this achievement and then you can flog it on if you don't like it as you can see I've tuned mine with a motorbike engine it is now C class uh, and all wheel drive say all wheel all three wheels working um, now I went over to the Greendale Club circuit and set it up just for PLP 50s so there's no other four wheel competition it's all three wheel peel p50s um and obviously when i was recording this i was doing it during winter so i changed it to spring and only one lap because i'm not a fan of this car i'll be honest um but as you can see here <laughs> doing the motorbike engine swap does make it fairly rapid off the line but it'll max out about 115 so it's not the best car in the world um but a minute 30 and the race is over and you'll never have to use a car again if you don't want to um and that's another very easy 20 game of score so there you can see it took me about one minute 30 seconds i'm not a fan of this car it's very cool and i'm not going to sell it because they're quite expensive in the auction house um i'll hang on to it for a while but very simple 20 game score just by winning the race in the peel p50 so i'm not going to complain uh third challenge wants you to get three stars at a danger sign in a vehicle from the truck's car type now i've only currently got three vehicles uh in this truck's car type two of them are the racing lorries and the other one is the mercedes unimog now you guys might have them i want two of them uh, from wheel spins so chances are you guys probably have got one now I went for my Iron Knight I didn't really tune it much I just made it all-wheel drive because again it's snow uh, then I found this danger sign uh, the Ambleside Edge danger sign all you need is 650 feet so that's not very much now you need to basically hit that sign at about a minimum of 125 mile an hour um, preferably faster so if you want you can tune the unimog uh, but this one does it just as good so as you can see i get 660 feet which is 10 feet over the target you know it's still getting that three stars on a danger sign in a truck and again another very very easy 20 gamer score and not even one percent of gamers have this achievement so it's very very rare a very cool achievement to have Fourth one, just wants you to get 250 mile an hour on a speed trap in Bugatti Veyron Supersport. Now, most of you guys probably would have won this in a wheel spin. I actually brought it for the purpose of this video, just a 20 gamer score. Yep, the things you'll do for gamer score. Um, and then come up to this speed trap here on the M68. Now, it says obviously you need 265 to get three stars. But on this, it doesn't matter if you get three stars or not. 
All you need to do is hit 258 mile an hour or above. Another very, very easy 20 gamer score there. Like it, again, it doesn't take you very long. You don't have to even tune the Beatty because it'll hit that speed anyway. Um, a very simple, very easy challenge and definitely use that speed trap. Now the final one purple split wants you to, in rivals, uh, beat a rival without getting a dirty time penalty. Now a dirty time penalty is when you basically come off the track or hit another car, basically messing up. Um, but by using the drag strip, as you can see here, it's almost impossible to get a dirty time penalty because you're not really likely to hit any of the barriers or any of the walls. So obviously you'll set up the drag strip for a rival's event. Now, as you can see, the time for me to beat there is 1 minute 13 seconds, which is quite slow for a rival's event, uh, let alone a drag strip event. So this car does it in 9 seconds, and all you have to do is not hit anything, which obviously, like I said, the chances of that are very, very slim on a drag strip compared to when you're doing an actual sort of race event. So it's very, very simple and very, very easy. And there's a very quick 10 game score. Um, so really, this took me about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to get all of them. Uh, so that's a very quick and very easy 90 game score there where all of the achievements are incredibly rare, which I'm hoping you guys will try them out after this video. So some of them won't be as rare. Um, but like I said, they're all very easy and all very simple to do. If you do need any help with them, please do ask in the comments. I reply to every single comment as best as I can. Um, so if you do need any help or support, obviously drop a message in the comments or you can message me on Xbox as well. Obviously, all of my details are in the description of this video. Uh, but last of all, a massive, massive thank you for everyone's support. We are now over 2,100 subscribers, uh, which I didn't think I'd get to anytime soon. So I'm incredibly grateful for that. Uh, and when we hit 2,500 subs, I'm going to do a massive giveaway in Forza Horizon 4, uh, where there will be a couple of winners that will win some very, very cool and very big prizes. Um, but Obviously, like I said, a massive thank you. I hope you guys will try out some of these achievements. Tell me if you do and tell me how successful you are. But a massive thank you and take care, guys.